Good Sunday morning to you all. This is your brother, your cousin, your nephew, possibly your uncle, um, Sean the Intercessor, coming to you all with a dream that the Lord gave me in a scripture that I'm about to read to attach to the dream. This was a dream of urgency. This was a warning before destruction dream. This is a must listen dream. So if you have time, if you are really wanting to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying, please stop, don't scroll and listen. Amen and amen. So um this was a this was a real simple dream, but I'm gonna give you scripture and I'm just going to talk. Um amen. So um in this dream the Lord was speaking through this person um, as I was discerning and the Spirit of the Lord was saying it is time to wake up 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 one more time I'm going to say it again it is time to wake up so today's scripture reading that I'm going to be reading concerning this dream is going to be coming from Ephesians 6 10 through 16 I'm going to read um bible version the nlt new living translation version and i'm going to read of course the king james version um and it basically says and listen carefully it says carefully determine what pleases the lord verse 11 take no part in the worthless deeds of evil and darkness instead expose them verse 12 It is shameful even to talk about the things that ungodly people do in secret. Verse 13. But their evil intentions will be exposed when the light shines on them. Verse 14. For the light makes everything visible. This is why it is said... Awake, O sleeper, rise up from the dead, and Christ will give you light. Verse 15. So be careful how you live. Be careful how you live. Be careful how you live. Don't live like fools, but like those who are wise. Verse 16. The last one. Make the most of every opportunity in these evil days. Now I'm going to read the King James Version for you guys. And that one basically says. Provoking what is acceptable Unto the Lord. Uh, Verse 11. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. 12. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. 13. But all things that are reproved are made manifested by the light for whatsoever doth make manifest is light 14 therefore he said awake thou that sleepest and arise from the dead and christ shall give thee light verse 15 see then that ye walk circumcisely, circum, ah, can't pronounce that word, please forgive me. Please walk, let's just say righteously, not as fools, but as wise. Verse 16, redeeming the speed, the time, there we go, because the days of evil. Now, please forgive me for how I read 15 and 16 please don't let that stop you from listening to this video you know i know some of us bible readers we kind of have an issue with pronouncing words in the bible but you guys probably got a good p 
picture of what I was reading. So basically, to every prophet, every prophetess, every apostle, every evangelist, every minister, even upcoming FIFO leaders, ushers, musicians, singers, choirs, psalmists, ushers, um, deacons, um, church members, anyone that goes to a church, anyone that walks with Jesus Christ, backsliders, um, fornicators, anybody who's living in sin um, that have the spirit of the Lord or believes in Jesus Christ. In this season, the Lord is saying it is time to wake up. We have been playing too long and I'm talking to myself while I'm talking to you guys. We have been playing too long. What's the point of asking God for more if we can't even use what he's already given us? If we ask God for more, that's saying that what we get already is not enough and we're not even using what God has given us. It's time for us to stop using what we got going on, our struggles, our issues, our strongholds. It's time for us to stop using those things as an excuse. We have the power inside of us. The Bible tells us greater is he that's in us than he that's in this world. The greater one, the Holy Spirit, is what lives inside of us. We should not be walking around depressed. We should not be walking around dealing with anxiety we should not be walking around even for those of you that you know feel insecure about how you look the word of god tells us that we are fearfully and wonderfully made in god's image it's time for us to put on our spiritual garments it's time for us to put on our armor it's time for us to walk in the fruits of the spirit it's time for us to be who God has called us to be and stop walking around here with our heads down. It's time for us to walk with our heads up, walking in confidence, walking in the power of the Holy Spirit. It's time for us to wake up because there's too much going on in the nation. Someone should be interceding. Someone should be praying. People are being slaughtered. Witches are running rapid. Warlocks are running rapid. Jezebel is running rapid. Sexual immorality is so much that's going on in the world. Why are we sleeping? Why are we walking around with our head down? It's time for us to wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. It's time for us to get our spiritual strength back, our joy back, our peace back. It's time for us to wake up and be who God has called us to be on this day. Because one day, he who was and is and is still to come is coming back. And you're either going to be left behind or you're going to be caught up. And even when... We grace that day of judgment. We're going to have to pay an accountant for everything that we have done. And we're going to either hear those words, well done, or depart from me. It's time to make Jesus Christ Lord over our lives for real. Over our temples for real. Over our households for real. It's time to make Jesus Christ the cornerstone over our temples and over our houses for real. No more going to church pretending. No more going to church playing church. And even to the church. It's time for the church to wake up. To stop horse playing in the house of God. Pastors need to stop horse playing with these members. Need to stop sending money at the collection plates and out of the offering baskets. But want to sit here and blame the um, members for doing that when most of the time you're doing that. It's time for prophets to stop prophesying and speak truth. It's time for preachers to preach in season and out of season and stop preaching what makes the church shout because church is not about shouting. 